One of the characteristics of an elegant woman is the way that she carries herself and good posture is a big part of that. I have mentioned before I'm a qualified ballet teacher and an ex-dancer so in today's video I'm going to show you how you can improve and get good posture for a really elegant look. I'm going to work through three areas, the head and the neck, the shoulders and then the core section. I'll start at the top and then work my way down. Slumping with the shoulders dropped forward and the abdominals relaxed is quite common. It does look really awful and it's incredibly aging too. Firstly, the shoulders need to be down and back. Try rolling your shoulders forward, then lifting them up to your ears and then pushing them down, but not backwards. You don't want the chest to be extended forward. To add inches to your height and look taller and leaner, you need to lengthen through your spine and out through the top of your head. Now, if you imagine the string attached to the center of your head being pulled up as high as you can, lifting you upwards, but not the shoulders, they need to stay pulled down. You want to feel lifted off the hips with your weight slightly forwards. Usually when you ask a child to stand up straight, the head goes back and the chin juts forward, the shoulders go too far back and the chest sticks forward. But if you imagine being pulled up from the centre of your head, you're less likely to jut your chin forward. Standing straight will make you look so much better in your clothes and you'll exude confidence. A long neck will make you look more elegant. Some people are just born with a lovely long neck. Rosie Huntington Whiteley, she's a great example. She's got a gorgeous long neck and always looks so elegant. But if you're not born with a long neck, there are things we can do to make them look longer. Sitting, driving, working on a laptop will all encourage your shoulders to slump forward and or hunch. Keeping the same lift and length from before with the string attached to your head, imagine heavy weights on your shoulders pushing them down. So you'll have a two-way thing going on now by stretching upward through the centre of your head but pushing your shoulders down and slightly back. This isn't going to feel comfortable but will become easy the more you're mindful of it. You want to imagine increased space between your collarbones and your ears. So without jutting your chin forward, you want to push the shoulders down but stretch up through the head. Your chin needs to be parallel to the floor. Imagine your chin would be resting on a tabletop. Also, you could imagine yourself wearing a neck brace that really elongates the neck. The middle area is a real problem area for posture. When I teach children, you usually find that their bellies are poking out and you've got a real hollow back, which will cause so many problems in later life. You can see this really deep hollow in my back and my belly is extended because it's really difficult to hold the abs in in this position. It always reminds me of the shape of a duck's bottom. There's so much pressure on my lower back, it's actually really uncomfortable. The pelvis needs to find a neutral position. Now you can do that by placing your hands on your lower back and just try tipping your pelvis forward too far and under and then back too far so that you can find that neutral position, which is somewhere in the middle. You'll notice that when you do get the right spot, your abdominals pull in automatically and instantly you'll look much better from the side. Someone with good posture will always stand out in a crowd because you don't generally see people with really good posture these days. But if you take little steps each day to correct your posture, you will notice the big difference it makes in how you look and how you move. 